Hello, this is Dustin Frank from Engaging Technologies, and this video here is going to be a quick example of how to convert any GWB file from the Interite Workspace software that can be used on either Windows or platform or Windows or Mac. First thing I'm going to do is open up my hard drive, go to my Applications folder, and located inside the E Instruction folder, you'll notice a Workspace Content and a Lessons Gallery. This gallery is pre-installed whenever you install the Workspace Software Content Package. You can also pull individual lessons from the EI community on the eInstruction website. I'm going to open a sample lesson plan here from the gallery. Here, I'm no notice I'm opening a file called Cells. One of the challenges that you run into when working with an Interite Workspace file is that you never know what platform it was originally created in. Workspace Mac files do not open on Windows, and Windows do not open on, on Mac. So, there is a way around that. Notice, this particular file here was downloaded. This is a pre-made lesson. Notice there are several slides involved. As I navigate through, if I look here at my page shoulder, it's about 10 to 12 slides long. So, as I come back in, you're going to notice I have my pen selected from my toolbar. Anytime I try to write anything on top of any of these pages, there's no annotating taking place. It appears that it is because I have the tool selected, but I'm unable to write on top of any of these pages. If I wanted to put any text on top of here, no matter what the tool is, it does not allow me to use that tool on top of these pages. Reason being is I'm working on a Mac computer, and apparently this file was created on a Windows. The way that you can get around that, or make it to where it is when Mac compatible is from your file menu come down in here to where it says create a duplicate page now what I just did was notice I've created two page ones same page is listed in there twice the first page is the original the second page is the new now notice inside the new software the new version of this Anytime I grab one of my tools, I can now annotate on top of that page as if it were a page created. I believe what happens here is that when it's created in a specific platform, it's not native to the computer with that you're working on, so it doesn't work fully. If you'll go through and do that, notice again, I cannot write on this page. But if I come in, go to the Create a Duplicate Page, I can then create and use my tools to text or annotate on top of any of the material that was previously there. One thing you'll want to be sure to do after you've done that on each page is you will want to come back in and get rid of the first page of each type. You can do that from your page sorter, leaving the second page for each one of the pages that was created. Hope you find this video helpful. If you have questions, contact us at engagingtechnologies.com.